Alright, in this video I want to go over the different types of viewports you have available here inside of UDK and we'll also look at some basic navigation to help you start to move around through your level. Now, currently it's a little hard to tell what's going on because we have a blank scene. So let's go ahead and open up one of the levels that's included with UDK. I'll go up to the file menu and click open and let's pick on dmsanctuary.udk click open and wait for that to load in and we get one of the levels that is included with UDK in all of its splendor and glory. Now this is the Sanctuary map, which is actually from the game Unreal Tournament 3. Without touching anything though, without even trying to move or, or play with the viewports at all, we can see right off the bat that three of these viewports look very similar, while the fourth one in the lower left hand corner looks a lot different. Now in the lower left corner by default is your perspective viewport. The other three views being in the upper left hand corner where we have the top view, the upper right where we have the side view, and the lower right where we have the front view. These are all orthographic views. Now the key difference between the two, aside from the fact that the perspective view currently shows all of our lighting and texture information and all in all looks pretty cool, the big difference, the important thing you need to remember is that the perspective view shows three-dimensional depth. You actually get a sense of how far away something is, where in the perspective views you get no sense of depth whatsoever. They're like schematics or elevation drawings where each object, no matter how close or far away it is from the camera, will always appear at, a, at, at the same size. You get no sense of foreshortening. Now let's talk just briefly about navigating these views. Now to make things a little easier to see, I'm going to click down here in my perspective view in the lower left hand panel and I'm going to tap the G key to go into game mode. And what that's going to do is hide away any unnecessary actors that I don't want to see right now. Basically, this gives us a representation of what the level looks like when the player is going to be moving around in it. Now, to get around here inside the perspective view is very easy. I'm just going to hold down the left mouse button. And as I drag forward, you'll see the camera slides forward. As I drag back, the camera slides backward. If I drag to the left, the camera turns to the left. As I drag to the right, the camera turns to the right. So while you're holding down the left mouse button, you already have a lot of power to fly around and see this level from many different angles. It's kind of like driving a car around on a single plane. I mean, not really, because you can turn in a circle without moving, but it's similar. Now, if I drag with the right mouse button, this is kind of like rotating a camera that's on a pivot. So as I drag forward, I look up. As I drag back, I look down. If I drag to the left, I look left. If I drag to the right, I look to the right. This is very much like turning your head on your neck, except you know, if you want to, you can turn a full 360 degrees. So in between these two controls, we already have a whole lot of power. We can come look around the corner here with the left mouse button. And then if I want to look down at that tunnel, I can just rotate the camera down. But what if I want to actually go down there and look at it to move the camera? vertically, we can hold down the left and right mouse buttons together. So as I do that and drag back, I can move the camera down. If I drag forward, I can move the camera up. If I drag left, I slide the camera left. If I drag right, I slide the camera right. So between these two buttons, just holding down left, just holding down right, or holding down left and right together, you have complete control over moving all the way around your scene three-dimensionally. So just real quick review. Left mouse button allows for forward, back, and turning motion. Right mouse button allows you to rotate left, right, up, and down. And left and right together allows you to slide up, slide down, slide left, and slide right. If you've never done this kind of thing before, it can take a little bit of getting used to. If you're coming into UDK from an application such as Maya or 3ds Max, and you're used to holding down a key to get uh, various forms of navigation, it might be a little awkward at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's a very quick way to get around your scene. Now, later on, I will talk about a special navigation method just for you Maya users out there. Actually, Maya navigation has been mimicked inside of UDK, but I'm just going to leave that for a teaser right now, and we'll talk about it a little later. So that's some basic navigation here inside the perspective view. Now, how do you get around these orthographic views that are surrounding our perspective view? It's very similar, 
If we drag with the left mouse button, now I'm picking on the top viewport, which by default is in your upper left-hand corner. If we drag with the left mouse button, we can pan this around. It's kind of like grabbing a hold of the view and just sliding around as if it were a piece of paper. If I drag with the right mouse button, I do the same thing. So left and right are going to do essentially the same job here, where if we drag down, or actually if we drag backward toward yourself, you're going to be sliding the view down, push away, and you're going to be sliding the view up, and then left and right. It's very intuitive once you actually try it out. Now, if you hold down left and right together, so the left and right mouse button, and you pull back towards yourself, you're going to zoom in. If you hold down left and right together and push away, you're going to push the view away. It's kind of like zooming out. They're not really like zooming because you're actually moving the camera. So that is a quick look at orthographic navigation. Now this is going to be the same for all three of the other views. So as we drag around with left mouse, right mouse does the exact same thing. Left and right together allow us to zoom in and out. And between just those buttons, you have full power to get all the way around your scene. Now, that's it for your basic navigation. That's really everything you need to get wherever it is you want to go. I do want to mention this, though. Most folks, especially visual people, are going to be more drawn toward the perspective view. And this is just something I've noticed just you know, as being a teacher. you you got to love the perspective view. It's so beautiful. It gives you a, a quick, instant gratification view of what your level is going to look like. But don't discount the orthographic views. They're great for pl precision placement of objects. You can use the top view to get an object oriented exactly where you want it to be, and then use a side view to slide it down exactly to the level it needs to be placed. Great for precision work. So be sure to Make yourself use all of the viewports, because as you do that, you're going to see the strength that each viewport has. So that'll wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.